Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals and welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. I am planning the week of the 29th of July through to the 4th of August um, in my A5 wide Tilly Journals inserts with an Oreo style planner. I am using this camping kit by Planner Face with art by Kitnish Jess. It is quite an old kit, like it's pre um, Graph Tech. Anna's format which is still a great format but is yeah it's very different um and for some reason I had two of the um box add-ons for this kit which is a bit random um I am using a foil bundle by Caress Press in light green hollow and then underlay wise I am using um solid teal underlays from my shop and I think orange line grid underlays from my shop layered and I'm obsessed with how that all looks it's just so perfect for this kit like just look at it it's just yeah it's everything the teal and the orange are teal and orange are great colors and I love how this came out I don't actually think I have a single day extender this week which is remarkable really um so I was using this camping kit because it was guide camp um we I was on guide camp till the Saturday um, I wasn't meant to stay after that. I was meant to go home on the Wednesday and be at home, um, but I didn't. I ended up staying because one of our other leaders was ill and basically they needed me. So I went off to work from camp, um, which was an interesting experience and not one I would necessarily recommend, but it needed to happen. So it did. Um, yeah, that's kind of it for the base, I think. Anything else to say about the base? I don't think so. Um, it's all either just the foil bundle or those two underlays. And without any further ado, I'm going to talk about the books that I read this week. So the first one is called Jade City. Um, so this is a, it's the first of a fantasy series um, about a city, country, place where um, jade is something you can win and it gives people special, uh, like, abilities to use magic, basically. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. Um and you have to be a green bone to be able to get jade and um, otherwise jade can sort of poison you um, and make you go um, insane from use of it basically um so essentially the cole family are like one of the lead families in the one of the i don't know um districts of this city um and then wild jade starts appearing and that they discover that the um mountain district is partly responsible responsible for the um wild jade going so yeah um it abrupts into open violence and it's kind of the story of how that works there is a lot of world building in this um it's it's good i like i really enjoyed it i gave it four stars um there's a lot of world building um people die that you don't expect to die in these books um like the author is not afraid to kill people um it's a really good story it's very much like some of it is clearly set up for a that book and the rest of the trilogy um but it works and I had myself rooting for certain people and not rooting for others. Um, I definitely have favourite characters and I really hope they don't die. Um, but we'll see what happens. And I'm not sure when I'm going to carry on with the trilogy. Not at the moment. It's not. I'm not feeling fantasy at the moment. Um, I'm having a bit of a break from fantasy. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah. The next one is called The Family Experiment. And I did give receive this as an arc so um thank you to the publisher and netgalley for giving me this as an arc um so essentially this is about so if you've watched black mirror it's kind of um like a black mirror episode so it is um basically a reality tv show where they set up six couples with a virtual reality child um they've like ma manufactured it so that when you're in your bodysuit thing that you can feel the child like you can touch it and things life for the child still goes on when you're not in the virtual reality so you can leave them when they're sleeping and things but yeah it, and it's essentially anybody the winner of the reality tv show can keep their virtual child and get some or take some money to um uh 
start a, a physical child family. Um, so that's kind of the premise of it. Um, it is somewhat centered, it is centered around that, but there is also other stuff going on in the background and it is a bit thrillery as well as being like a cool social experiment. Um, so it is a really interesting read. I gave it three and a half stars because I kind of saw bits of it coming and I don't know, it felt like a bit of a slog at times. So I didn't like want to rush through it, which is why I gave it three and a half stars. But I did, I did enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. Like I would recommend you read it. Um, it's properly suspenseful at times and yeah it was entertaining but some bits definitely like kind of dragged on and it, it was hard to follow and then the last book I read this week was an audiobook again and this was the meet cute method um, and basically it is about a um, journalist who works for a women's magazine uh, her name is Frankie and she is writing an article on meet cutes and how you might meet somebody um and yeah so in the name of her work project she's whisked off to uh, another country and yeah it's with a guy um, and it's kind of a romance between them it's quite a good book it's quite enjoyable it's quite light and like fluffy it's a light fluffy romance there's nothing really particularly real in it um yeah i don't know i, I enjoyed it don't get me wrong i thought it was a good read it, again i gave it three and a half stars like that's that's a good rating from me um but it wasn't like groundbreaking or anything i thought it was cute it was a cute rom-com basically with lots and lots of tropes thrown in as well so um my highlight of the week this week was the camp <laughs> what else is there to really say other than the camp um that was kind of the majority of my week um so i'm gonna start going through the day by day now um again this video is really short it's, i've only got another nine minutes to tell you all about my week but luckily we've not got any day extenders so um yeah right so on the monday so basically at the start of every day except sunday i've marked in that we were at guide camp I might say it again and again but that is what the first thing marked every single day is and I've generally done that with a flag so so yeah Monday was at camp woke up at camp we did general um camp tasks sort of everything takes a lot longer on camp like you we do breakfast and then you have to wash up and like it just everything takes a while because we get the girls to do the tasks and like encouraging 10 to 16 year old girls to wash up and stuff can be a challenge at times um then i drove home for my cbt therapy session um so we had that i haven't marked anything about it so it was probably pretty unremarkable had some cuddles with my husband before heading back to camp at this point i was expecting to be home to him on wednesday but it wasn't it was very sad um then I went back to camp because one of our leaders had gone home ill and the other was with half our girls um doing a overnight with the like older girls I was alone at the campsite um, with the other eight girls which was interesting there were plenty of other adults around if anything had gone wrong or anything like it was an international it was a massive international camp so um it was fine we were fine for numbers and stuff and I had a friend that I knew would come and help in an instant if I needed it but it was just a bit weird I sat in my tent and did some planning like the girls were off doing their evening activities and I just sat and did some planning they knew where I was if they needed anything etc etc and then I did some reading I was reading the family experiment um so just lay and did some reading of that on to Tuesday I've again marked that I was at camp and that I was alone in the morning um again the the rangers were on an overnight so they came back during the day at this day including my mum came back who is the other leader that was with me at the time um I was listening to the meet cute method whilst I was doing things um when my mum got back we went and went to the we had a look around the activity field and did some shopping at the shop basically it was a massive international camp the girls had like tickets to go to certain activities and other activities were just on the activity field there were lots of different things to do and they had to queue for them on the activity field but because we wanted the girls to know where we were at all times we were always having somebody staying at camp at the site at our, like where our tents were so 
this was the first time we had an opportunity to go and have a little look around and we did some shopping we got t-shirts i believe um went back to camp and then we did our dinner tasks um as i say cooking and things at camp it takes a lot longer and um, you're cooking on uh, we have gas stoves but obviously you're outside so nothing is quite as quick and you're cooking for a lot more people um and a barbecue um and a griddle um then i just had some time to myself i just took some time and just had a bit of me time because i was really tired from having the girls alone the week be the night before and to be honest i was not feeling great and i was quite in my feelings um and then we had some falling out of the girls not unsurprising at this point in camp we're like four days in they're not sleeping very well they're spending all the time with friends like we always have some form of fallout at camp but they always make it up pretty well and that's what happened um but yeah we were talking to the, some of the girls this night that were a bit upset on to Wednesday I again marked that I was at camp and that I was absolutely exhausted I was so tired um, again marked in doing breakfast tasks because there is a lot to do for meal times then I again took some time to myself um, and then Joy one of our other leaders who was meant to be swapping with me came back but unfortunately Sarah was still poorly and wasn't available to come back so I kind of offered to say they were like oh you don't need to but I did need to really like mum was trying to be nice but it was going to be incredibly difficult if I left um me and mum have camped before together lots of times and we haven't camped with joy before so it's not like nothing against joy she's she's a fantastic leader she's actually unfortunately left now so her camp this camp was the last thing we did with her but um there was no shade on her at all it's just like um me and mum have camped together a lot and I'm I'm very used to how she works and how and she's used to how I work and yeah um so yeah the decision was made that I was staying and I was just going to drive to work go to work and come back um for my last few days of endocrine then we, there was some badge shopping going on so we went and did some of that we do collect badges so we do like to do badge shopping as I say it was an international camp so it's nice to get badges from other countries and stuff like that and then very last minute we found out that the guides were going to get to go to Scarborough the following day um and go to Alpamere which is a um water park slash spa but they were just going to the water park because you have to be 16 to go into the spa um so there was that um sorry about me like working something out then i can't remember what i was working out but yeah and um, so apologies for the sort of gap in the little video bit um on to thursday again i was at camp i went off to work during camp and i was absolutely exhausted unsurprisingly waking up in a tent walking across the fields to start your day is not really how things go um, came back did normal camp life stuff there's just not really else anything else to say like camp camping with guides like there is just a lot of life stuff to do um, and then I marked in that everyone was very tired um, so yeah and I lay on my bed and read some of the family experiment and had a phone call with my husband we did speak on the phone most nights um, and I didn't mark it every night but these that night I did on to Friday again I've marked being at camp and then going to work um through this was one like my penultimate day on endocrine and through quite a lot of this rotation I'd been working on a quality improvement project and we had finally like achieved our goal so one of the consultants bought us tacos because the um quip was called taco tuesday um it sort of stood for different things we were meant to check during a ward round um so we got tacos on a friday check we had taco tuesday on a friday it was a very very busy day at work and i was absolutely exhausted so when i got back to camp i honestly just crashed out i literally slept pretty much from immediately after dinner through till the next morning other than having a quick phone call with my husband and then on to saturday it was the last day of camp so we sh striped struck struck camp we sh yeah it's true <laughs> um you strike camp is uh, so but i don't know what the past tense of that is anyway we did that and um, which is basically taking your tents down and everything um said goodbye to larkin which the, was the camp we were at i came home and had some snuggles with my husband and then just had a lot of resting time because we were absolutely exhausted um then i watched some once upon a time again with my husband and just did some pulling stickers because obviously i've been away for the last like week and a half and so i was behind on pulling stickers so i did that on sunday i did lots of life bits and pieces to basically get my shit together which is the script i use then i did some of my portfolio um did some planning just 
had a, a bit of a like chill but not too chill day did some designing of scripts for my the, my filming planner um checked in with the budget caught up with that did some editing um all very like just catch up like do some tasks that i haven't been able to do for like 10 days because i've been away <laughs> um or super busy um, and then I did some reading and this is where I started Heart Stop the second Heartstopper book. I finished it the following day, I believe. And then to finish out the day, we did watch some Once Upon a Time. And that is kind of it for the week. It was a nice week. Um, very busy and very, very tiring being at camp. And I love how this kit came out and how this spread looks. I think it's absolutely stunning and gorgeous. Um, like, just look at it and like teal and orange together, just chef's kiss let me know what you think down below that is the full um here are my leftovers there the words i'm trying to say lots of leftovers there and i hope you've enjoyed this video comment like down below all that kind of jazz um let me know when you last went camping in the comments thank you for watching and um, have a beautiful foil wiggle both with oh ooh, lighting going weird both with and without special lighting and i will see you in the next video bye